Hey guys, it's Ezzy once again. Um, decided to release uh, videos a little bit more quickly and perhaps take a little bit less time uh, talking about uh, what are effectively uh, toy cars. Um, you know, I mean, really, I'm, I don't think I'm funny enough to have a five minute video on one little toy car. So anyway, <clears throat> having said all of that aside, this is the final Auto World um, thing, K uh, toy car or whatever that I'm going to look at. This is the El Camino, and I had initially thought that this was black, but it is in fact a very dark blue. I'm going to pull it, I'm going to crack this thing right now, because that is the best way to enjoy these things, I think, personally. I know some people prefer to carry, uh, or to keep... Oh, what's that? I've never seen that. No idea what that is. None at all. Some strange cryptic zero two three i don't know i have no idea it's alien speak i'm not saying i'm not saying it's aliens but it was aliens all right there we go a very sharp design again you know i cannot um extol the virtues of auto world uh die cast enough because it's just fantastic i mean the scaling is spot on the detailing as a result is spot on um i don't know should this have been chrome i don't know what the old el camino had if this was chromed bumper if it was um maybe just the polished sealed bumper i have no idea but again the uh finishing of the uh, of the lights of the light clusters and the uh, amber turn lights uh, look i mean the detailing there that's fantastic one little tiny stripe of uh, silver paint to denote what i assume was some kind of hood ornament uh, let's see if we can make out that text in the back there. Yes, we can. El Camino. I believe that is Spanish for the way. There you go. Chevrolet. Chevrolet. Chevy. Great treatment of the rear lights, rear bumper. Very truck-like, which is what this was supposed to emulate anyways. It was a car. Truck. Dual pipes. Dual exhaust, I should say, not dual pipes. Oh, coming out of the side, I didn't know that. Um, I assume they came out of the side on the El Camino because the El Camino was meant to do work, so you would potentially be backing it up to um, loading bays and maybe piles of dirt, so you wouldn't want to wreck the, um, the exhaust pipes. Very cool. I don't know if this ever opened. I mean, on the real car, not here. Nice casting though, very great, and great detailing. I mean, there's the wipers right there. Fantastic detailing. The window surrounds and the trim, great. Those are the little eight pillar windows. I miss those things, the ventilation windows. I miss them a lot. Last vehicle I had those on was a 1989 Dodge Ram Power Wagon 150 and that had the 318 under, no, it had the 360 under the hood because I think it was a 5.8 or a 5.9 liter. Um, what a beast that truck was. Anyway, uh, I digress. So here we are again with Auto World. This is the El Camino. Uh, what year is this actually? This is a 1966 El Camino, really? Oh yeah, I guess so, because that would have been the front end of the Chevelle. That's how it would have looked. Uh, or the Malibu. Either or, I don't know. Although the headlights are painted as well in white. Uh, these must be hand-painted. No, probably not. I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, the grill looks as though somebody hand-painted it. Am I wrong? Either way, it looks fantastic. And I always want to open the hoods, but they don't. But they don't. Boo-hoo, Auto World. Anyway, um, yeah, great. Great casting. Fantastic. Guys, pick them up if you can, whenever you can. Um, you will not regret it. Thanks for watching, guys.